cup game this weekend, you're looking forward to it? Yeah, looking forward to it, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll look up competition away from the league. Um, we'll chance our trophy as well, so um, yeah, looking forward to it. Just in terms of your previous cup experiences, have you had much of that in the way of sort of towards the, the further end, apart from the, the semi final, of course, the, the last weekend? Um, in a word, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, had a few cup runs, but um, in England it's quite difficult to um, get the clubs out now to, to get a cup run going. Um, I'm sure, no, it's, it's good to um, play in the competitions and give them a good chance of, of progressing in the league. Just how exciting is that? The fact that you've already you know, experienced hand and the fact that you know there's a few games to go in this competition as well, but it's a realistic chance every single season of this football club of getting to those showpiece occasions. Yeah, no, it's. Um, it's it's really exciting. Um, you know, when, when you come up here, you want to obviously win and win the trophies. And you know, Saturday is the kind of the first step to to get that win going in this one. So um, yeah, we hope to win it again. We want to win every trophy, and you know, tomorrow's a good chance to start. The manager talked midweek about you know the fact that the team have conceded first quite a few times since he's come in, and said there's maybe been a bit of anxiousness about the defending. At times, is that something that's sort of continually being addressed over the last few weeks and going forward? Um, yeah, I think so. I think um, the, the more the more times we've fallen behind in games and managed to come back and win it, it gives us more confidence, and I think we're a bit more relaxed um, in the fact that we're creating chances quite often, and um, we've got good players who can mark them, not take them. Um, obviously, it makes the game a bit easier if you don't go behind early on because. Um, Obviously, the team sit in a bit more once it's got a goal, but we're creating lots of chances and we're putting um, a fair few away as well. So I think we're a bit more relaxed uh, about it. But obviously, it's not the plan and we want to put that out and get back to getting clean sheets. It must feel the team's in a much better place when the last time you're up in the park. Yeah, we're in a good run of form. Um, the confidence, like I say, even if we have been going goal behind, we still feel confident in the team to, that we're going to bounce back and, and win the game anyway. Um, so yeah, another, another game at the end of a, a long, long week, but um, hope we're looking at going to it and, and getting to the next round and carrying this ball. Ben, it's the first real chance you've had to play alongside Connor, and first real run of games you've had since coming to the club. Just if you could sum up how you feel that's going for you individually and your kind of experience of, of playing for Rangers as a whole. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been kind of difficult. I think the pre-season last couple of years has been like, um, it's been good fitness, but the match minutes haven't um, matched what I've needed kind of in previous years. And then coming to a club on loan and then being kind of expected to play 90s from the start has been difficult, not just this year, but last year as well. Um, but I've always thought that once I can get a run of games, then um, like the little niggles and stuff have kind of faded away. Um, and I think now I'm kind of at that stage now. Obviously, it's been a big week, as I say. Um, and then this is kind of that last bit of it. So I think if I can get through tomorrow, which I'm confident that I will, um, then I'll be away and um, that, like, not worried about what anything yeah. after that. How, how do you, um, obviously had all the large number of Rangers fans at hand in tomorrow, you're going away from home, but there'll still be three stands of, of Rangers fans. W what's it like playing for a club of, of this size? How do you compare it to the pressures of previous clubs, because obviously Preston's where you've, you've played most of football? Um, I think that the more that you're up here, the more you realise that it's uh, an honour and a, a privilege to play for the club. I think when you come up, you expect that to be the case, but I think the more games you play, you realise the, the pure size of it and um, just how fanatical the fans are and what it means to everyone. And to have that many fans away from home is brilliant. Um, and we walk home playing a good performance and, and send them all happy. How much are you and Connor trying to work a partnership together and sort of spend time developing that understanding? Obviously, it helps the more you play together, just away from games as well. Um, yeah, I think that we've both got a lot of experience, and it helps when you know that the other player's got that experience and they've been through the, the situations before. Um, I think that obviously, the more we play together, then the more we can kind of understand where each other is all the time without speaking as much but until we get to that um, stage then we're still kind of developing that partnership but it's been good I think you can see what, what a big player is for us and um, it makes it a lot easier to play alongside him.
the, the manager sort of rotates his two goalkeepers. He's also spoke about giving Robin McCrory some games at some point as well. As a defender, does that become challenging when the guy behind you changes? Um, I think it's more challenging when the defence changes to the goalkeeper. I think that I know both goalkeepers fairly well. I get on from both off the pitch and I don't think it really matters to me personally um, who's behind me. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.